Father, Mother, God. Father, Mother, God, thank you for this time today. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us re rejoice and be glad. We are so grateful for the time we share, the, the love that we share, the awareness, the synchronicity we share. We are so grateful and we are thankful and we say it is as it is and it always shall be. Amen. Amen. Oh, by the way, Kathy has a wonderful topic for us today. Thank you. Yes, Nancy, I do. I have these cards and I ordered them from Unity. And they're the positive prayer wheel, bedside prayers from the daily word. So what they did is they took different um, daily words from all different years and they put them together and they come like this. So when I get in bed, I can just grab one randomly. And then I know that the one I grab is the one that I need to close my mind with. So it, so that's kind of what I did today. I thought, well, I'm just going to randomly grow, grab three of these and, and share them with you. Uh, they're available if uh, you contact Unity like I did. And um, I, I think it's they actually make a nice gift, but I gave the gift to myself. So this first one is, is from 1977 and the title is Free. I am free to live fully in this moment, leaving past hurts and mistakes behind. I am free to think positive thoughts, no longer bound by limited perspectives. I am free to rise above my trials and problems, trusting that God within is always greater than anything I may be facing. So you take that, and then you close your eyes and, and just breathe that in. The next one was also free. This is from 2009. Through the spiritual perfection of Christ in me, I am blessed with complete freedom. The world opens before me as I realize that nothing can bind me, not the opinions of others, old habits, past regrets, or outworn beliefs. I am grateful for the freedom to create my life anew. And that one really, I know we've talked about in the, our other talks about carrying beliefs that we were told as a child. And this is like a, a good way to just say, no, those, those don't apply to me. And the last one I'll share was, get this, from 1939, freedom. Freedom is my spiritual birthright. I no longer look to other people or change in circumstances or condition to make me free. My truest enduring source of freedom is always and only God. I align my thoughts with God and break my chains of habit, condition, and circumstances for good. So those were just three that I sort of randomly picked to share with you. But I remember as a child that, you know, I had to kneel by my bedside and say my prayers. And I actually enjoyed doing that. And um, I, I don't I haven't been doing that over the, the, the last many, many years. But these cards sort of gave me uh, a, a little boost to pick up one and, and read that before you go to sleep at night. So anybody have anything they want to share about that? Yes, I ordered um, some cards like that from Unity and they're the 12 power cards. And I gave them for a, a friend at Thanksgiving and they love them. They're t the 12 powers and you draw cards and and one a day and they're drawing them all the time and they love the cards. Sounds like an ad for, for the Unity site, but the cards are really helpful. Yes, they are. I love that. And I love that you found three on freedom. And I love that they were almost different generations, weren't they? But the same message. Yeah, that's beautiful. Honestly, I think it's interesting you do that at night before you go to bed. And I believe that uh, you may have mentioned that 
sometimes your dreams are are really interesting. So focusing before you go to bed might really help you. I tend to do that in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I try and keep it first and foremost in my mind as I'm experiencing whatever it is. I find that, and don't tell anybody, but sometimes I have what we call stinking thinking. <laughs> Something comes up and it just gets in my craw and and it can just agitate me all day. But if I start with a reading like that and and try and keep that in mind, especially like you were doing free, um, when I pick up a resentment or or get angry or and just having those nasty little thoughts, I'm chained to those. And they just irritate me and, and cause all kinds of wonky stuff during my day. It's like they own me. It's like I've given up my freedom to whatever, and I'm not going to give examples because I don't want to go there, but whatever might be stuck in my craw. And if I remember, I can break this chain. I can choose freedom. It just changes everything. And a lot of times I actually laugh at whatever it was that had me just all worked up. And it's like, yeah, you have no power over me. I choose to be free. And I am free in my faith and my connection to spirit, no matter what. You can't break that. It, that's absolute and positive. So what a wonderful message. What a wonderful opportunity to kind of look at time of day. And I uh, just thank you for that. I really got a lot out of it. Any other comments before we close? Okay, then. Please, let's close in prayer. I invite you to sit back and if you're comfortable, close your eyes or focus on something in the room as we take a breath together and turn within. God, thank you for the freedom that comes from knowing that we are perfect in spirit, that we are perfect when we are united with our faith our love of God, our expression of spirit in every way. God, no matter what the earth presents to us, we know that we can rise above it and be united with one another. Thank you, God. Amen. And thank you for joining us today. If you would like to join our panel, please send me an email, leave a comment, or let us know at Unity of El Cajon. We are so grateful to have you with us. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.